soggy clothes and breathe low. Shitters in your fever, scream me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send a post off? Do you know where the waffles go? They go along to take your home. down our we build our breakfast down and say my Good afternoon, Liberty North, and welcome back to Cana. We hope you all are having a great day. I'm Kaylee Knudsen. And I'm Melina Adams. Today we have a jam-packed show for you guys, including all your announcements, a football promo, and a new weekly feature called Trendy Thursday. And to top things off, we have the one and only Coach Osborne bringing you your weather today. What do you have over there for us? Well, Kaylee, it's 79 degrees right now, but I'll have the rest of your weather forecast later on in the show. Luke, what do you have for us on Eagle Athletics? I'll have an update on the teams that were in action last night as well as a look ahead to the game for the rest of the week. Back up to you guys. Thanks, Luke. Let's go ahead and get this show started. Your net news starts now. Let's start off with your announcements. Students, if you ordered the Spirit Trio, please stop by Miss Placer's room 812. You can stop by before, during, or after school. Just do not interrupt class time to get the shirts. Cheer is now taking orders for football schedule shirts. They're only $12 to $14. Please see a cheerleader this week if you'd like to order one. Juniors and seniors, National Honor Society sent out applications to all eligible students yesterday and today. Please check your email to apply. With the new addition to the building, it's easy to get lost. Here's Chandler Baxter and Sam Barrett with an introduction to the school. Thanks Chandler and Sam. Look, we have a busy week in athletics. What do you have for us? The Eagles will be traveling to rival and state-ranked Kearney tomorrow. There are many things that go on behind the scenes to make sure games and practice go smoothly. For more on that, reporter Drew Hutton is sent down with football manager Mackenzie Blankenship. Thanks Luke. That's right. I'm sitting here with senior football manager Kenzie Blankenship. How long have you been managing football? Uh, I've, been a fan, I've been a manager for about four years now. So clearly you have experience. What got you into managing? Uh, I always liked being outside, and one day Coach Whitey came up to me and asked me if I wanted to be a football manager, and I said, let me, let me be a part. What's your favorite part about managing the football team? My favorite part has to be just being around the boys, always being part of the excitement, and always being able to travel with the boys and being a part of it. Sounds fun. What are the main duties you do during the games? The main duties we have is to make sure we always have water onto the field and just if anything gets broken, we have to get it fixed immediately so they can get back onto the field. Is the atmosphere any different in practice this week for the game against Kearney? Yeah, it's more intense. We just want to bring our all and we want it to be the best game ever. All right, well, thanks, Kenzie. To get you guys hyped for this uh, game on Friday against Kearney, here's the football promo.
Remember, the theme for this week is camo, and make sure to follow at LNHS Eagles Nest for more information surrounding the student section. The tennis team took on Kearney last night, but fell to the Bulldogs. They'll be back in action tonight, taking on Truman. Softball also hit the field last night against Lee Summit West. Kayla Moss led the charge with a first inning dinger, and then the, <laughs> the Lee Summit West Titans then pulled ahead 3-1. to one. With late inning home runs by Kelsey Runge and Leah Thorne, the Eagles were able to take the game into extras. The Eagles and Titans stayed, stayed tied up until the ninth inning when the Titans were able to sneak across the run. The Eagles were unable to answer and lost the game 4-3. to three. They are now 5-2 and two on the year. Soccer had a hard-fought game against Park Hill last night, but lost 1-0. They played tonight versus Oak Park at LMS. Now over to Joe with Trending Thursday. Thanks, Luke. I'm Joe Janess, and I'll be covering what's trending in the world today. Britain's citizens spread refugees' welcome messages online. The people of the UK are encouraging immigrants to come and take refuge in their country if need be. Also, if you did not catch the VMAs last Sunday, you missed, Nick, you missed Nicki Minaj calling out host Miley Cyrus on talking bad about her in an interview. The term used by Minaj, what's good, Miley, has become a fad amongst Miley's followers. Fans have been tweeting and commenting on her Instagram pictures, repeating the quote from Minaj, looks like Miley just can't get a break. And the last piece of news for today is Tom Brady has officially beaten NFL in the infamous deflate gate case. Brady's four-game ban has been removed. That's all for this week's Trending Thursday. You can tweet your opinion on these topics at knut underscore news. Your own tweet could be read on next week's edition of Trending Thursday. That's all I have for, that's all I have for today. Mr. Osborne, how's weather looking? Uh, well, today we've got partially cloudy skies with a high of 92 and a low of 70. Friday we can expect similar weather with a high of 93 and a low of 72 and partially cloudy skies once more. Saturday we'll have 12 mile per hour wind gusts and partially cloudy skies. Uh, there will be a high of 93 and a low of 74. As for Sunday, we're looking at clear skies and a high of 93 and a low of 71. That's all I've got for your weather. It's going to be hot. Back over to Kaylee and, gosh darn it, uh, Alina. Alina, back to Alina. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to wish a big happy birthday to Stephen Garza, Hannah Richardson, and Allison Crenshaw. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for this year's first ever This is Knet. Also, be sure you're following at Knet underscore news on Twitter. We'll see you back here tomorrow, but until then, we'll catch you on the north side. Shit, Jersey, your fevers greet me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send our postcards?